my kids. Welcome to our craft video this week. So this week we're talking about how God is David's friend. How many of you have a good friend? I'm sure most if not all of you do, right? I know I have some really good friends and they are people that I like to spend time with. We laugh, we share what's going on in our lives, we do things together. What do you think makes a good friend? For me, it is someone who I can trust won't hurt me or turn their back on me. I can tell them things without worrying they will make fun of me. I know they believe in me and want what's best for me. In the Bible, David wrote about God in a way that describes a pretty good friend. Let's look at Psalm 25. In verses 1 through 3, he describes God as trustworthy. God is never going to let us down. In verses 4 and 5, he tells us God gives good advice. And when we have a problem, God is there to help us out. In verse 6, David says God loves us. Isn't it great to know we always have someone who loves us? In verse 7, David tells us how God forgives us. And when we make mistakes, God doesn't stop caring for us. We can tell him we are sorry and he forgives us and he forgets it ever happened. In verses 8 through 10, he says God will help us make right choices. Sometimes we aren't sure of what we do or aren't sure we are strong enough to do the right thing but God is right there with us to help us out. In verses 15 through 22, David lets us know God helps us when we're in trouble. It may seem like we're alone sometimes or nobody wants to be around us or other people are making fun of us or maybe we did something we shouldn't have and now we feel really bad about it. God is with us all of those times and he wants to help us get through those hard times. I like spending time with my friends whenever I can, but you know, they can't always be with me. Right now, I have some friends I don't get to see at all because of everyone having to stay home or stay you know, away from each other because of the COVID-19 disease. And you know, I think I don't get to go to my nephew's wedding because it's in another state and there's just rules and restrictions on that state that we don't necessarily have on our state. So I don't get to go and see my friends and family for a wedding. But you know what? I know that God is my friend all the time and he protects us and he's with us. And I can count on him to always be with me. And I can trust him to take care of me and all of my friends. You may be missing some of your friends because you're not in school with them. Or you may go on a different day than your friends. And you don't get to see your friends. And that's hard, isn't it? But you know what? God is your friend. And he is always with you. And I am so glad that God is my friend. You know, let's go over our Bible verse. It's 2 Timothy 1, 7. God hasn't given me a spirit of fear, but of power, love, and a sound mind. Can you say that? God hasn't given me a spirit of fear, but of power, love, and a sound mind. God loves us so much and he's our friend. And he wants to be there for you. All you have to do is ask him. You can ask Jesus to live in your heart and say, save me and be my friend, Jesus. I want to be your friend. That's all it takes. And then we have Jesus in our hearts and we know that he's always with us. And we can always pray to him. Now, this week's craft is really kind of fun. We are going to make a wind-up toy, a pumpkin wind-up toy. So I've already punched out all of my little supplies here. And the first thing we're going to do 
Well, go ahead and punch out your supplies so that you've got them all laid out here. And you're going to take the pumpkin that has a couple little orange marks at the top of it. Those are the eyebrows because we're going to put a face on this pumpkin. So we've got two eyes here and we're going to put the eyes on. And you can kind of look at your picture that's on your instructions. And that can help you figure out where things go. But we're going to put our eyes on. The good thing about these kind of crafts is that if you mess up, you can always just take the sticker off and put it in the place you want, which is really nice. And then we're going to put the nose on, and then we have the black mouth, and we're going to put that on, just like this. And we're going to put his arms on, the green, which are kind of like stems, I think, but we're going to, they're going to go like his arms. And another little arm. Ooh, two. Let me see how this is going to fit, because I think put that one right there underneath the cross. And then we also have a cross to put on where the cross is, right? So we take the backing off and you know, many of you were getting ready. It's getting close to Halloween. Some of you might celebrate it, some of you might not. And this year, things really could be different for Halloween, but you know what? We're having our harvest fall harvest. If you're doing this today on the 25th, we're having it today, right after church on the lawn. If you're doing this ahead of time, get there on the 25th. We're having church on the lawn at 10 o'clock and afterwards we're having games and hot dogs and s'mores and it's going to be so much fun and you can wear your costume. So, and then we're going to put the little stem on. Now, one thing you want to make sure of before you put the pumpkin with the face on is you want to wind it up a little bit and see which way is front. It looks like this will be the front because whichever way they're walking, that's the front of them, right? So I'm going to start out and I'm going to put my face on this side because this one is which way he's walking. So get off our stickers here. And it's really sticky, huh? Keep peeling off the white because you want it to be able to stick really good because it has to stick. Oh, I kind of forgot one. Okay, this is the front. So you want to put it just above the wind-up part so that you can be able to reach the wind-up part. And then you're going to take your other pumpkin, which is its back, and you're going to peel off the paper for that, the sticky, to make it sticky. Ooh, this one came off really easy. I like it when it comes off easier. It makes it where it's not quite so hard. I've got this one little piece that won't come off. There we go. Okay. And then I'm going to stick it to the back of this. Now, probably the best way would be to start at the top of the pumpkin to get the back together. And then you're just going to stick it on the back. And then it kind of goes together. And you kind of wrap it with each other. That's super cute. I love it. And now I'm going to turn it on. I'm going to see if I can wind it up. 
I'm gonna wind it up. And there is my pumpkin wind up toy. There it is. Is that not cute? I love it. Now, another thing that came in your October 25th bag is this little postcard. And it says, your word is a lamp for my feet and a light on my path. And it has a glow stick in it. And you can stick this through. And you know what? You can give it. You can either wear this as a bracelet, but you can also stick it through here. And then you bend it. And it lights up and it's got the ends to it so you make a little circle here and it's like the cross is glowing right and you can give this to a friend you can put this in their halloween bags right that's kind of cool huh you could write on the back so thanks for joining us today. Let your light shine. This is the month where we have lights in our pumpkins, but we want the light of Jesus to shine bright to others, right? And don't forget, God is always with you and he is your friend. He's with you, so you're never alone. Have a great week. I love you. See you next time.